81 career wins, three at the Daytona 500, and four cup championships. Those are just the headlines in a 17-year career that may be the best by the numbers of any driver in history. So when Jeff Gordon went winless in 2008, it was easy to wonder if his best years are behind him. Every year that goes by, I appreciate the wins, the championships, you know, the Daytona 500 wins, all those things even more. And it only inspires me when we have a year like we did in 2008 to get back to victory lane, to get back to, to, to being on stage for that championship. Much of the focus on Gordon's 08 campaign centered around crew chief Steve Letarte. It was the second full season on the box for the 29-year-old who joined Hendrick Motorsports as a teenager. So but Gordon TV, continues uh, to support Letarte. Steve's the guy, he, you know, he's the crew chief. You pick that crew chief for a reason. That person, you know, has a lot of decision making that goes on and he has a lot of other people that he bounces ideas off of in management at Hendrick Motorsports. For me, you know, I got to look at just specifically driving and communicating what, what I'm feeling in the car, you know, back to the crew chief. And with the new car, you know, obviously I've got I've to step it up just like everybody else does. Gordon surely has the talent and the equipment to contend for a fifth championship. He also has something no other driver has. Gordon is closer to three-time cup champion Jimmy Johnson than any other competitor. Their teams work side by side. We certainly know what the ingredients are from our own experiences uh, with championships as well as theirs and battling right up against them in 2007. So it um, doesn't make it easier, but it definitely you know, gives us, uh, uh, gets us a lot closer. In 07, Gordon finished second in the chase to Johnson. In 09, he could be the man to end Johnson's streak. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press at Daytona International Speedway.